Is there even a woman who never regretted rejecting a guy? It's just so satisfying to see their faces when they realize they made the wrong choice. That's why here are the top 10 romance anime where a girl hates a guy and regrets it. Number 10, White Album 2. Starting off our list is an anime that has a title that sounds like it's leaked files from the FBI. Our boy, Haruki Kitahara's dream of a school festival performance with his light music club seemed impossible, but a beautiful voice and piano harmonized with his guitar, reigniting his hope and starting a turning point that would change his entire life. <laughs> Visual novel adaptations have always had a notorious reputation in anime communities because most of them suck, but not this one. Not to mention, the characters are what make this good. They aren't there just to fill in a trope, but believable people with distinct personalities. The songs are also bangers because, well, this is an anime about music first of all. Instead of having a lot of comedy, it's a complex show that'll definitely play with your emotions. So if you want that, check this out. Number 9, My Stepmom's Daughter is My Ex. What would you do if your ex became your stepsister? Sounds like a really familiar plot from a website with yellow and black colors. Our boy Mizutu Iraido and the introverted nerd Yume Aie seemed like a match made in heaven. But it didn't go so well. Still, the anime gods played a game on them and decided that their parents should marry each other, which is why they're in this situation. No comment. <laughs> To be honest, I just find whoever wrote this to be really smart. That's because you expect a trope-filled, trash, etchy series, but what you get to actually experience is the tragedy of young love and what misunderstandings can do. Sure, there's still a bit of fan service, but I actually watch this for the plot, not the plot, if you know what I mean. The animation is also really good, and I enjoyed it up until the end. Number 8, A Town Where You Live. <laughs> We've always seen the series where the city boy and country girl, but how about the complete opposite? Life in the countryside takes a sharp turn when a city girl named Yuzuki arrives. This turns Haruto's life upside down because meeting her was the best or worst thing that could have happened. Especially since after all the time they spent together, she just left and it broke my man. This is a series that looks at the beautiful and ugly side of a love story, and I'm here for it. The fact that they're willing to show the sides of love that most people hide brings a realistic feel to how it all plays out. Another thing that I'd like to point out is the amazing character development in the cast as well as their insanely well done backstories. The banger soundtrack is just a bonus here too. Number 7, D N Angel. Sometimes love stinks, especially when you get rejected. But for this boy, rejection gave him a heroic double life. Now I know you're a bit confused about what I just said, so hear me out. Our boy Daisuke was once rejected, but he gets a surprise on his 14th birthday. He gets this phantom thief alter ego who steals art whenever he thinks of his crush. But it turns out his mom planned this all along. Oh, what are you doing? 
I just love how the mom was the mastermind behind all of this. Although it does have a lot of comedy, the romance, characters, and story here can actually be pretty wholesome. It even has that classic 2000s animation with spiky hair and big eyes that I know some of you love. Even if it was released way back, the animation is crisp, clean, and smooth. It's a perfect show for those who like high school romance with a bit of fantasy. Number six, love, election, and chocolates. <laughs> What do these three have in common? <laughs> Nothing in real life, but everything in this series. Our boy Yuki's chill food research club life is at risk because of an upcoming student council member wants to disband their group. Now, the only way they could save their club is by stopping Satsuki from winning, and that's going to get wild. To start off, Koi to Senkyo to Chocolate looks like your typical slice of life anime where the club is having problems, but this one is built differently. The characters are so vibrant and diverse that you're gonna just have to love seeing them be silly and have fun. Also, the animation may not be godly, but it does the job and is very decent. It's just cute girls doing cute things with a whole lot of romance and even some harm spice added to it. Number five, Scum's Wish. The anime gods were just straight up cruel with this one. The popular couple in school, Hanabi and Mugi, are hiding a dark secret that would totally destroy their reputation if anyone found out about it. They're in love with someone else. Hanabi loves her childhood friend who became a teacher while Mugi's crush also falls in love with the teacher. Teacher Riz in this series is different. This is the perfect series if you've gotten sick of romance anime consisting of nothing but innocent teenagers blushing like tomatoes at the mere thought of holding hands. That's because it has more romantic progression in its first five minutes than most romance anime do in their entire runtime. It's also very controversial since it deals with a lot of ugliness when it comes to romance, but that's exactly why I recommend it. It's such a breath of fresh air to get you over those brain rot harem shows. Number four, Suzuka. Yeah. Have you ever been in love with someone that's way out of your league? Well, our boy Yamato, who just came to the city, was working at his aunt's bathhouse while living next to an all-girls dorm. Little does he know, though, that his crush, the talented high jumper Suzuka, turns out to be his neighbor. To win her over, he even joins the track team and tries to become a better athlete. But will it be worth it? If you want to watch something that actually breaks the anime norms and tells a good story rather than suit itself to otaku culture, then this would be the one. What's even more interesting is that it has an unexpected love triangle, which definitely spices things up. I love this show because the characters behave naturally, and the things they do don't feel forced just to move the plot, and that's rare. Number three, just because. Just because is the answer I always give to professors whenever they ask me why 1 plus 1 equals potato. Anyway, high school is probably the most chaotic era for everyone, especially for these people. Graduation is about to arrive and love doesn't seem to work out for any of them, but their lives will be shaken up when a mysterious transfer student arrives. That's me. For a show like this to work, it had to make its characters feel like they belong there. Luckily, Just Because pulls off the right and stops through its characters of diverse personalities. To make things even better, the show never forgets its core concept, which relates to a lot of teens these days. For 12 episodes, it honestly felt just right to sell its story without going overboard. There's a lot of drama in here, and you'll be surprised you'll find a love polygon. Number 2, Nana. 
ナナちゃん好きって言ってたろ今度の日曜とか暇だったら一緒に見に行かなえー、私映画は一人で見る主義なの隣に友達がいたら気が散るっていうか Only true romance fans know about this series and they can agree with me when I say it is one of the best there is. It features two nanas, each with a Tokyo dream and they somehow meet. The cheerful nana Komatsu searches for love while nana Osaki pursues music. Both of them chase new beginnings. One follows her loyal boyfriend while other chasing stardom. Shoji? Yeah! <laughs> 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 Ayazawa did it again. Nana is one of those hidden gems that everyone seems to know the existence of, but very few people have actually ever watched. It does drama right, with so much raw realism put into every single moment. Although the art style is very unique, this was done by Madhouse Studio, so you know the animation's top notch. It's a very serious and compelling series that I wish more people would just watch. I would go as far as to say this is the peak of shoujo. Number one, The Dreaming Boy is a realist. This is what happens when Sundres go too far. Our boy Wataru, even if he was rejected a bunch of times, still tried to pursue a girl named Aika. That was until one day he realized it was completely one sided and he needed to stop becoming a simp. That's why he stopped and now Aika's wondering why he did and starts making moves on him. Stop confusing my boy like that. <laughs> Finally, a Sundre who is handled properly by the MC. I just love how they didn't make the MC completely trash like Kazuya from Red to Girlfriend because he actually feels like a normal person and it made the story genuinely enjoyable. It's so refreshing and you can see that Aika really regretted what she did. From its unique concept to the character development and just the MC being a complete shad, it's number one in our list of the top 10 romance anime where a girl hates the guy and regrets it. Oh, my God.